Just have kidding. us on the edge of our seats, Glenn. Waiting. The suspense is horrible. I hope it'll last. Kind of love technology. A simple gesture can often mean the most, uh, especially, you know, when it comes from a child. Yeah, Fox 35's Kimberly Wiggins introduces us to a family with children that's on a mission to send love to our troops. It's a busy Saturday morning at the Castleberry Vets and Auxiliary Hall. Volunteers are up early to stuff sweet sentiments into care packages for the troops. It takes a lot of volunteers. It all began five years ago. Joe Maddie's oldest granddaughter sent one to her uncle's station in Afghanistan. Four months later, she says, Pop, I want to send more packages to the soldiers. I said, but I don't know anybody. Friends offered names. The other three grandchildren helped, including the youngest who couldn't write yet. My grandpa asked, gave her a piece of paper and she drew uh, her hand. And when we were putting it in the box, she kissed it. And my grandpa asked what she was doing. And she said she was sending kisses to the soldiers. So KISS, Kids in Support of Soldiers, was born. Back then, they sent two packages. Today, 94. every month, Taylor and her volunteers take donated items. The number one item that goes in there is our wet naps. Plus noodles, coffee, comic books, even calendars, and send them to America's Bravest. As long as we have an APO or FPO or a DPO address in their name, that soldier researcher or sailor or marine receives a package every month until they come home. My first kiss package was uh, my first tour, which is in uh, 2011. Army specialists Nelson Asmaria and his wife Amy say the packages mean everything. Just getting the box is like a morale booster. Because it's like no matter what you're going through that day, you get that box, you get your name called out, and it's, it's just like it brings a smile to your face. Today, the Asmarias help send that feeling. Now, in return, I'm the one actually packing those packages for other soldiers. Because I know what that feels like. 100% donated ends up here. It costs $2,200 to fill these and send all of this. I think it's great because it started off of us sending packages that to total strangers and now we get to meet them in person. In Castleberry, Kimberly Wiggins. We always can use your help. Fox 35 News. Coming up, thinking outside of the box. Or in this case, the bike.